All right, tonight what we're going to be talking about is stoichiometry with gases. So basically stoichiometry with gases is I give you some conditions about one of these substances in a chemical reaction and I ask you about some the amount or the number of moles of a different substance, okay? All right. So in the above reaction is the reaction between gasoline and oxygen that occurs inside automobile engines. So if four moles of gasoline are burned, so I know I give you four moles of this guy. Okay, what volume, so I'm asking for volume of oxygen is needed if the pressure is 0.953 atm and the temperature is 35 degrees celsius so with stoic problems what you're going to do is you are either going to need to find moles initially using pv equals nrt or the ideal gas law or you're going to have to do stoic and then use the ideal gas law in this case i am given four moles of this guy so what i need to first do is i need to convert moles into moles of the other substance, okay? That's where the stoichiometry comes, is when we're going from moles of one substance to moles of another. And since I'm starting with knowing the moles of gasoline, I can figure out how many moles of oxygen I will produce, or not produce, will need also to react. So I'm gonna start with 4.0 moles of gasoline, C8H18. Okay, and I am going to use the molar ratio to get to moles of oxygen. So it would be two moles of gasoline for every 25 moles of oxygen. So knowing this, I would be making, or I would need 50 moles of oxygen to completely combust or react with my moles of gasoline. Okay, so now I know how much moles I need, and now all I have to do is figure out what is its volume? So I know my N, I know I'm solving for V, I know my P, I also know my T. So that would be a ideal gas law. So PV equals NRT. My pressure in this case is 0.953 ATM. My volume is what I am solving for. I know my N is 50 moles. My R is going to be the R value that you would use for ATM, so it would be 0 0.0821, that's 8 liters ATM, Kelvin times moles. And then I know my temperature in Kelvin, which would be 35 plus 273, is 308 Kelvin. When you solve this, you get your volume is equal to 1326.7 liters, which rounded is equal to 1330 liters. All right, let's try the next one. How many grams of water, so I'm trying to solve for grams of water, would be produced if 20 liters of oxygen were burned at, so that's a volume, at a temperature of negative 10 and a pressure of 1.3 atm, so that would be P. So right now I see a V, a T, and a P, and that is all due to the conditions that oxygen is set. So what can I solve knowing P, V, and T? I can solve for N. Then solving for N, I can then convert the amount of moles of oxygen into grams of water using our normal stoichiometry. So the first thing though I need to do is figure out under these conditions, what is the amount of moles that I have of oxygen? So I'm gonna use PV equals NRT. In this case, pressure is 1.3 atm. My volume is given to me, so it's 20.0 liters. That is equal to my N times my R, which is 0 0.0821 atm times liters per mole Kelvin. And then that is times my T, which is 263 Kelvin. So now solving for my N, I get N equals 1.204 moles of oxygen. So for these conditions in this problem of VTP, I know that I have 1.204 moles of oxygen, but that's not what I asked. What I asked is with these conditions for oxygen, how many grams of water would be produced? So now I'm ready to do my stoichiometry. So I've got 1.204 moles of oxygen. Now I need to convert from moles of oxygen to moles of water. So it's 25 moles of oxygen 
for every 18 moles of water. Now I can go from moles of water to grams of water. And when I solve that, I get 15.6 grams rounded to the two sig figs in the problem because of that 1.3 ATM, I get 16 grams of water. All right, hopefully you have a basic understanding, but when you're looking at a stoichiometry problem for gas laws, we will give you somehow a mole amount of one of these substances and ask you about a molar or some other substance amount of a different thing in one of these equations. Okay, so for this, for stoichiometry, you're going to use stoich to convert from moles of one substance to moles or some amount of another substance, and you're going to be using the ideal gas law. Okay, all right, have a great evening.